the Toyota Supra used to be a legend and people got sad when they heard that there wasn't going to be a newer version. But here we are with the newest version of the Toyota Supra. And let's just start off with the exterior. Now the exterior looks very gorgeous. Now I think this is the most gorgeous car I've seen. That's because Toyota kept it sleek and aerodynamic while still making it look super, super cool. Now under the hood, Toyota gave it a 3 liter uh, in 96 which, pair, which pairs up with its uh, single turbo, twin scroll turbocharger. And, uh, and that gives you 335 horsepower overall. And uh, with a 0 to 100 time of 4.1 seconds. So yeah, th if you ask me, those aren't terrible specs. They're actually pretty good. Now the car also has a nearly perfect weight balance. And if you ask me, that's pretty good. And of course, with all that horsepower and 0 to 100 time, you also need gears. And that's why this Supra has eight gears. I said that right, eight gears. So you just imagine, you hit the track, your, your, your other friend with his uh, 80 Supra, huh, six gears, you have eight gears, you're much faster than him. Are you? Because, of course, just like every other Supra or Japanese car at that, um, uh, Japanese cars are um, limited to only 180, sorry, 250 kilometers an hour. But then there are uh, third-party gadgets which can remove the speed limiter. So you can go up to, uh, I don't know, 200 plus, uh, uh, sorry, 300 plus kilometers an hour and uh, that is pretty fast. All right, let's, uh, th this car is amazing, striking, but let's go check out the rear of the car. So the rear of the car looks just as striking as the front of the car. And one of the most recognizable um, features of this rear is this badge. So Toyota made an all new badge and this looks just so much more aggressive and better. I just love this new badge. And also at the back of the car, you can see this GR uh, logo, which stands for Gazoo Racing, Toyota's race, other racing department. Now, of course, there is this huge Dif uh, sorry, rear diffuser, and as striking as it looks, it does its job well by giving down force to the car. And just this overall about the rear of the car, this looks great, just like the new badge, the Gazoo Racing, the rear diffuser looks great. Now, enough about the rear and front of the car, let's go check out the in interior. Ah. This is nice. I do like this. So of course, the Supra, since it's a racing car and a track car, it comes with a bucket seat to keep you in on the seat in the seat while you're racing. Now, even though the bucket seat is supposed to be tough for racing, these seats are actually surprisingly comfortable. Actually, these are very comfortable. Now, just moving on to the center console here, you can see just basic basic gadgets because it's a very BMW-ish vibe. And that's because BMW and Toyota uh, had a collaboration and they made this car and the BMW Z4. So that's why this car had sort of a BMW-ish vibe. Now, you can't see many gizmos and gadgets here and that's because it's all safe for weight reduction. In fact, you're going to even see this carbon fiber and that's for weight reduction. So uh, that's something really, really nice. Okay, see, there's no fun in talking about a car like this, this is a very special car. So how about a test drive? Let's take this thing out on spin on the roads. Let's go.
So guys, we are in the Supra and boy, am I excited for this. This is very soft, of course, like the, like I said, the bucket seats are pretty soft. And that is because, um, uh, uh, you know, oh, it's a track car and a daily really driver car. So it has to be soft. Um, uh, yeah, but otherwise the ride is super, like, um, it's just amazing. And that's because of the adaptable, adaptive variable suspension. That is just um, when you're just driving around, the the car's AI, the Supra's AI will just tell the suspension to keep on reading the road if there are any bumps or anything. And whenever there's a bump, the car will automatically just adapt to that. So, for example, the right side of the car, there's like a bumpy road and the left side is just fine. Well, the cars, the right side of the car will just automatically just... Um, what do you call it? Yeah, the right side of the car will just automatically just adjust itself, you know, to have the smoothest possible ride. Um, we're coming up at a uh, roundabout and after that we have a little bit of a stretch. So, uh, sport mode and then let's... Let's speed it up, huh? Here we go! Here we go, 60, 80, 100, 120, 131. We just went 131 kilometers an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said in the showroom, back in the showroom, I said the car has nearly perfect weight balance and that's just um, making the ride just smooth, you know. Uh, the car shouldn't be like that, tilting backward or forward, so it's just... Um, car just perfect it feels just magnificent there were no words for how cool this car is the only one thing i wish that was in this car was no electronic speed uh, limiter again like i said third party gadgets can remove it but then again man like i wish you could like normally this car would be able to go 300 kilometers an hour plus easy but uh, unfortunately Japanese uh, electronic speed limiter. All right, let's uh, let's look at the infotainment system here. All right, so we have a um, a big, nice, big uh, infotainment system. You know, the, there's a tire pressure menu. It's of course touchscreen. We have this analog cluster. So let me just move that around. See, it's um, it, it won't move right now, but like you see, it's moving close message bam now i have all my uh, i have media control i have navigation i have communication i have to connect connect my phone but then we have connect service then we have the uh, stuff related to the supra notifications and just yeah let's just for example go here we can put in address we can put in destinations our all our nearest destination destinations we have settings map journey stuff like that and Wow, let's just go back for now. Oh, let's just go back. back. And of course, we can just shift this around like a shifter, head shifter, and we can also um, move it around like a trackpad. Wow, this thing is amazing. Of course, this car also needs great brakes. That rhymes. Uh, so, this car needs good brakes because you're at the track, right? You're doing 250 kilometers an hour speed limit, uh, the limited uh, speed on this thing, and uh, when you hit the brakes and nothing really happens because your brakes aren't pretty good enough. That's why they have four rotor uh, Brembo brakes, the new ones. As soon as you press the brake pedal, it just really stops. Great job, Toyota. I can't really clap because I'm holding my phone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Toyota and um just guys thank you so much for making this possible if you and if viewers if you have a cool car can you please email me at zao.ml.gmail.com to review your cool car and uh yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next one zao out